Hey, welcome back to another video, guys. Today, I'm going to be bringing you the Lose Xfinity Combo at Walmart. And this is the brand new model. And um, I'm going to be comparing it to my TXS Combo right here. Um, this one came from Academy Sports. And it seems like it's just about the same rod. The only difference is, is that this one is a little bit stiffer um, at the tip of the rod versus... Um, the Xfinity. The Xfinity just got a little bit more width to it. Um, they're both IM7 rod blanks. Um, they're both... Are they the same color? No. Um, the Xfinity one, this is the Xfinity by the way. Xfinity's on the right. The Laser TXS is on the um, left. Um, but yeah, this the Xfinity is actually slightly... It's like more of like a neon green. Um, then the TXS, this is more of like a chartreuse color, but, um, so, you know, first we're going to be talking about the rod specs, alright, so you have foam grips, um, this one's actually so new, I haven't even taken the tag off, but you got foam grips on this one and foam grips on that one, um, you've got your wind grips, um, on this and on the Xfinity, the Xfinity actually has this really cool wind grip design, um, I don't like if they hydro dip that or what, but, now, I feel like the TXS wind grips are a little bit more grippy just because, like, they're a little bit bigger of a grip. I don't know if you guys can see that, but so it's a tiny bit bigger of a grip. Um, like, as the little things that make the grip feels a little bit more grippy, but, eh. Um, Semi-skeletal real seat on both. They both have, like, the same exact type of um, uh, real seat. Um... It's kind of skeletal because when you put your hand around here, you can put like, um, you can put like two of your fingers on that part and kind of feel, um, the end of your rod. And the same on this, you can also do it on this one. Um, so you got your, uh, let's see here. Um, so you know, it's got a nice finish going on both of the rods. Um, you know, very nice color scheme on both of these rods. Um, you got... Eight rod guides on both of them. Um, no, that's just going to help with um, like the non-tangling of line. You know, your your line's not going to be tangling up as often. Because um, if you guys know, the more rod guides you have, the less of a chance your line is going to um, tangle up, and the more accurate the casts are. So these these um, two rods, they should make pretty accurate casts due to how many rod guides that they have. Um, both of these are speed sticks, um, like I said, this is the Laser TXS, this is the Xfinity, the Xfinity regular price runs for 68 bucks, um, oh, the Xfinity actually comes in an orange color as well, same exact setup except orange, um, now I actually got this one on rollback, Walmart had it on rollback for only 54 bucks, so I figured that's a perfect time to buy it, so I went ahead and picked that up while I was at Walmart. And this TXS rod, um, I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe that this is either 79 or 89 bucks. Um, I think it's 79. Um, I got this on sale for 64 at Academy Sports. Um, and by the way, both of these rods, both of these rod series, they both have bait caster versions as well. And I'm actually, um, I actually ordered a bait caster combo. I, um, I ordered. The brand new um, Lose Xfinity Baitcaster combo. The same exact um, like series of this, except this orange. Um, and it's a baitcaster. So, um, I'll have to do a little comparison of that as well with some of my other baitcasters. Um, so, I think that we pretty much covered um, the rod specs. Oh, and by the way, on these reels, I am running 10-pound line on my TXS. And then on my Xfinity, I'm running 8-pound line. And to be specific... My 8-pound line is um, Suffix, and this line is Trilene. So, now we're going to go over some of the real specs. So, this is the TXS right now that I'm holding in my hand. Um, you have um, a zero revert, uh, uh, not reverse, uh, reverse function. You have, um, I believe that this is a 15-pound drag. So, that's, I mean, that's pretty much all that you need for targeting um, bass, um, got your wind grips on both of these, wind grips are on both of these, 
Um, you got, looks like it's a metal, um, like, actual real part. Um, I don't know about that, but it just seems like it's metal. Um, really durable barrel. You have thick wiring on both of these barrels, so that way it's not going to bend out on you um, over, like, a span of time when you're fishing with it. Um, no, it's got laser TXS printed on the spool right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but then it says lose on the handle right there. This is the speed spool. Oh, speed spin, my bad. It's got your lose logo right there. Um, you got a lure holder there. And the main difference between this one and the Xfinity is that the real hook, or I, I mean the lure hooker, is up located above the reel on the Xfinity is located below. Um, now I um, I don't really mind like I don't really care where it's located, but I do kind of prefer them to be above the reel just so that way you know when you're grabbing your rod to take it fishing, you don't end up hooking your hand. Um, so you know that's something that you just have to be mindful of with the Xfinity so that way you know you don't accidentally hook yourself. But um, I mean, like, it doesn't really affect, like, the way that the rod works. I mean, both of these combos are great. Um, I actually took this combo out, um, one time, and it was, like, two days ago. I bought it, like, last week, um, but I just took it out, like, two days ago. Um, so, and, you know, I didn't catch any fish on this. So I just, like, made a couple casts with it, so... Um, I haven't really, I don't really know, like, how it handles with a fish, but I like it. It works great. Um, let's see here. What else do we have? Um, so, all right, so let's go with, like, how the reels are. So, we already, like, covered, like, kind of, like, the some of the, um, specs of the reels. Now, both of these, I think these might be the same as that reels. Oh, and they both have eight bearings, um... And they're both uh, anti-reverse. Um, you can switch the handles on both of them, which is a nice feature. Most spinning reels have that, but there, every once in a while, there's a spinning reel that does not have that feature. Um, but yeah, so we covered the hook guide or the hook keeper. Um, now I do have this old Xfinity reel. Um, it seems to be the same thing. It's lasted a long time, which is the main reason why I wanted to buy this new one, because I'm sure this will be even better. Um, it comes with a line holder on the spool right there. As you can see, like, like if you snapped off or broke off on a fish, and you don't feel like, you know, restringing your rod, you can just, um, put your line on that little clip right there. Little gray thing. Um, and it'll keep it there for you. Um... But yeah, um, both of these, they feel really nice in the hand. Like I said, Xfinity's got a little bit more whip than the um, TXS. TXS is a little bit stiffer. Um, now this TXS, it will make a good worm rod. Um, no, possibly chatterbait rod. This Xfinity um, would be good, like, you know, for throwing, like, some small spinner baits on. Um... I actually have a uh, micro chatterbait on here. I think it works pretty good for the micro chatterbait. Um, and, yeah. Um, now, this Xfinity, it would also work pretty good um, for just Texas rigging um, a worm. Or um, doing a wacky rig on a uh, Senko. I think it would do pretty good because it's got that fast action tip on it. Um, it's got some great backbone in it. Um, you know, like, like when you go to flex the rod, um, you don't really get too much bend. Um, like, near where the middle of the rod is. It's mainly just toward where the end. The same with the TXS. Not really much bend in it, which is nice for getting those very precise hook sets. Um, because, you know, it kind of gives you that extra, you know, you know um, what I mean. It gives you that extra little power to get the hook through the fish's mouth. But, um, both of these rods are very good. Um... They're very smooth. That's the main thing that you want when you're buying a new combo. You want it to be smooth. You want it to be quiet. Um, both of these reels, 
they don't really make a lot of noise at all like unless you know you're put it up by your ear then you can hear it but um yeah both of these reels are very smooth they don't really make a lot of noise um and i really like the designs of them um no they're really nice they feel good in the hand and all um now the only down part that i don't like about these and like this is i've noticed like with a lot of loose rods, well, now like this hasn't really been a problem. I've been using loose rods for like pretty much forever, but just possibly like it is. It's always a possibility that you could possibly break this plastic um, reel clamp that secures your reel. But anyways, other than that, great combos, and I'll see you guys on the water. I'm gonna go and give these a few ca uh, test cast. Um, kind of show you guys like how they perform with different lures i'll see you guys on the water all right guys we have made it out on the water um i got like a few of my other combos here um we're actually going to throw the whopper popper a couple of times just to see if we could get anything um i usually catch pretty good amount of bass here um it's about seven o'clock um p.m right now just gonna give it a few casts of this. Um, on this combo, I'm using the um, Quantum Escalade reel, and um, I matched it up with the Xfinity rod at Walmart. This is the old version. It's actually a pretty good combo. Works great. Oh, you got one? But yeah, um, this reel matched up with this um, V1 Xfinity rod. It actually works quite nice. Looks pretty good on it too. See, this rod's so new I haven't even taken the tag off of it. Um, that's my dad over there. He thought that he had something, but he got snagged. He's actually throwing a little spinner bait. All right, now we're gonna try the new rod. I also brought the TXS out here. Thought that I might throw that around a little too while I'm at it. All right. First ever cast with this new rod. Ooh, all right. So we got some pretty good distance. Make sure you guys can see that. I let my bait sink down a little bit. This is a little micro chatter bait, so I'm just going to do some popping with it. Little popping technique. Yeah, this is a great chatterbait rod. Oh yeah, moves this chatterbait really nice. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's so moving through the water. Works very nice. Second ever cast. I let my bait sink down a little bit. I have to say, I can't even feel this reel when I'm using it. Yeah, this this is a great chatterbait rod. It's got that fast action to it. Works great. I recommend this rod so far, like based off of like how it works, my lure. Um, great chatterbait rod. Um, I really like it for doing that. I'm sure that it'll be a good um, Senko rod, jigging rod too, because it has that fast action to it. They pop the jigs off the bottom really guy really nicely. Um, yeah, I really like it so far. Be nice if we hooked into you know like a nice four pound fish out here. Um, I was out here a couple weeks ago hooked into a nice three pounder. I gotta say these wind grips they feel really nice on this rod. I mean, I love it. I mean, the color on this rod is awesome. Like, like when you're like using it on the water, it really pops out 
but works very nice. Now this would be a great bluegill fishing setup too, like if you're just into like some creek fishing stuff. No, you like fishing for some crappie. Um, but yeah. Right now I'm pulling it kind of slowly. Yeah, but I love the action of this rod. This eight pound line is perfect on this rod. Like you can't even um, hear the reel here. I'm gonna go ahead and grind it. I mean, you can't even hear it. I mean, all I think you can hear is just the line being uh, winded up onto the spool. So very nice. Um, right now on a scale from one to 10, um, like we're gonna do um, quality. So like as far as the quality goes, I will give the quality a 10 out of 10, um, especially like for the price point. Um, and you know, price point, price point, 10 out of 10. Um, color scheme of the rod, 10 out of 10. Um, you know, the grips and everything, um, that would be a 10 out of 10. Well, actually a nine out of 10 because I wish that they would come through and put wing grips on the butt of the rod as well. But not really a big deal because you don't really use, you don't really hold it like this that often. Um, like unless you're getting a good hook set. Um, now, as far as smoothness of the reel, uh, definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, definitely, I mean, I can barely feel the reel. And when I'm moving this chatterbait, I'm letting it sink down. I can, I can feel every single move that this chatterbait does. Like when I crank it, I can feel the chatterbait um, moving then I can feel it when I hit the bottom. Yep, all right, I just hit the bottom. Yeah, it's very nice, and this is an IM7 rod, so that's the reason why it's so sensitive. Um, there's also a ton of other loose rods available at Walmart that you have the LZR Pro. Um, that runs for 54, I believe. It does not have wind grips, but um, I believe it's like a five ball bearing system. Um, I think it's like, maybe like 18 bucks cheaper than this rod definitely um another really good rod now i, I don't own one yet but um i have heard really good things about it um so it's probably a really good rod and then the lzr spark that's basically just the baby version of the lzr pro i do own that one and it runs you 30 bucks um now i don't use that one for bass fishing i use it mainly for um crappy fishing and like by uh, creek fishing like bluegill brim stuff like that um but yeah it works great for that the reel on that one is smooth so i recommend uh picking that one up you know if you want something a little bit cheaper than this um but yeah yeah you will not be disappointed by that rod uh, it's only 30 dollars it's actually a combo um i've been using mine for about two years and it's held up all right we're gonna switch spots we're gonna go over here and try how long is our oh, eight minutes all right Well, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, my next video, I'll probably be using this rod. I'll probably do, like, using the um, the Lose Xfinity Combo Part 2. Um, but, like, that's, like, going to be a video, like, where I actually just use this um, and, like, just try and catch fish on it. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.